Hey guys, Amp here bringing you another Affinity Designer tutorial, and in this tutorial I will be showing you guys how to do a uh, separated view. Now what the separated view is, is sort of what the opposite of this is, where these are all connected, so the picture's connected, and all of these panels are connected, and it's connected to your toolbar, but uh, what if you wanted multiple views for a certain image? So I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you're going to have to do is come up to the window panel and enter separated mode and it will separate you into this kind of top toolbar the side toolbar and you'll have tools over here so what you can do with this is you can even bring out them into their specific panels and put them back at your choosing and uh, something this tool is really good for is if you wanted multiple views of the same image so of course you can zoom in and get the int the intricacies of that but what if you wanted to see uh, multiple views at the same time so uh, what you can do is sort of resize this window and to get it back to the center you can use a command zero and that will just center it and uh, you can bring it over here and then if you wanted another view of this all you have to do is come to the view panel and come down to new view and it will give you another thing and you can resize this, command zero, and then you can zoom in on something like, say you wanted to look at the flamingo. And when you move it in this picture, it will also simultaneously move this. So this allows you to move both things at the same time to see what's happening in real time here and very closely what's happening in real time. So you can edit everything you want to edit and make sure everything you want is perfect and you can even go one step further and add another view command zero bring it over here and zoom in even further to see what it's like and everything will move and this is uh, really effective for something like you're working on a big project and you want to change a minute detail, but you don't want to uh, ruin the whole piece so you can see how it's affecting what's going on at real in, re in real time. And you can even just exit out any of these that you don't need. And when you want to go back, you can just uncheck separated mode and you are back to the original piece and everything is back to the normal Affinity Designer layout. So that was separated mode in Affinity Designer. Uh, if you want more tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Uh, I will be doing more Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo tutorials, and I might be starting some other graphic arts programs and even some music programs, so stay tuned for more.